There's two holes in here, and there's two uh, screws here. So, uh, it says the two quarter 21 inch Allens from the parts bag. These are just barely long enough to hold that piece on. And I don't see that piece on the door uh, in the picture, so get a screwdriver and take those off. Like an 832. That's not a quarter 20. Maybe there's quarter 20 holes under the plate. Nope. Okay, well, let's see if we can put it back in with the screws that are here. Get an idea which way is going to have the least amount of twist. That seems okay. Yeah, they come through flush. Putting this piece on, it could be clocked. It's clocked differently, and that would uh, uh, help keep chips out of there. But I think if I have an issue with that, since I don't see. I don't see that in the uh, pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it off. Okay, there we go. So now here's the thing, too. Um, as Ray told me, the instructions I'm working off of are 1.12, uh, downloaded straight off the Novacon site. Okay. Um, that iteration was, it's an older one, and there's a couple of changes that still need to be, uh, tweaked in it. So, uh, this might be another one of them. Um, the quarter 20s may have been previous, these may be what it is now, vice versa. Uh, I'll point it out to, uh, Novacon, and, uh, we'll let them, uh, tweak it. Okay, so I got my wire hanger, hanging in there. Got that. Um, next up is oh, the front cover. Now this this control plate here, this thing's a beautiful piece of work. Uh, as close as I can tell, this is actually recessed into the plate there. The nut is recessed in. Man, that's just beautiful. So what I'm going to do here is the top two get standoffs. So rather than try to deal with the nylocks or whatever, I'm just gonna, this way I can just finger thread the standoff right there. Put the other one in. And this will be enough to hold my panel in place. So I can do the other two screws. All right, well the directions are straightforward. Uh, super simple. <laughs> I just, uh, so I couldn't see any reason to tape it and have to upload it, edit, and all that kind of stuff. So I think I showed putting this in with the standoffs, that stuff, I tightened it down. It's a 564 Allen on the uh, front side there. Uh, basically, this is how it's set up. It's all done. Um, you know, this is really nice here because then you just plug in the polarized connectors and you don't have to worry about the getting it right or wrong or whatever so the connectors need to get tucked up here in the corner it says that in the manual and that's because as you close this uh, the if the connector comes down here it's way too bulky it'll hit and and uh, get pinched in there so main drives Okay, all right, 
right, there's the top uh, LED lit up the way it's supposed to. And it says Novacon PDB, zero RPMs, zero percent. And if I spin this, I'm getting, you know, anywhere from 6 to 30 RPMs are showing. Perfect, perfect, like that. The adjustment is that before this rod touches that uh, lockout plate there, that light goes out. So, so that's right where it goes out. I've still got eighth of an inch up there. And about a sixteenth of an inch before it hits the block plate. Testing the VFD. Boot the PC Mach 3. Power drawbar LCD display shows Novacon PDB. Sign message on the first line. RPM. Uh, four zeros and motor load percentage. It says zero RPMs and then zero percentage. So uh, that's correct. Um, if you look at the relay board, the largest of the three, you should see a single red LED lit. We do. Uh, now if you press down on it, lower it. Uh, you should see the LED go out. And we just got done playing with that, but I'll go ahead and do this again. Okay, uh, spin the spindle by hand, you should see the RPM display, and I don't know if you guys can see that, um, no you can't, can you, but uh, it is spin. It is uh, noting the RPM. Start it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's plugged in, air is in, battery's charged up, 15 volts, uh, so let's... Uh, Main power, drive power, no change. Perfect. Push the little button. Alive. Okay, now I don't need I don't I don't need Mach 3 running right now. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. We can get some get an eyeball on that uh, cool ass power draw bar. So the, the tack built in, you might be able to see that. Uh, I can just spin this, got it up over 100. Uh, percent of load, can't do that until I'm actually running it, cutting something. So it says Novacon PDB, 0 RPM, 0%. So I do have a tool in here, just loosely. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, release. I'm going to just one click down. Okay, so there it came out. I'm going to hold the tool up in there, one click up. Okay, and I'm kind of curious how hard that torques with a full battery, so I'm going to try to loosen it. Oh, that's a pretty good, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good torque. So I left it a hair loose, I don't want to over tighten it. Uh, out. I was holding the button down for some reason, so I went too far. Anyway, up. Out. Up. Out. Okay. that and let's uh, do it a couple more times and we'll check that masking tape out or uh, release loosen tighten release tighten okay
there's a crepe texture on it and I see no disturbance in that texture whatsoever. So there's no rubbing even though this thing uh, does flex a little bit. So we have enough clearance. I have no clearance. I don't know about we. I'm only concerned with my clearance. <laughs> I have R8 tooling like a lot of people do for my uh, other mill, my manual mill. And uh, this has got the quick release collet in it. Okay. So this is one of the biggest reasons I bought the Taurus Pro was because of this power draw bar and the fact that it could do this. So if I hold that in, it'll release it and it'll run the collet all the way out for me. There we go. So then I can take my other R8 tooling. Run it up in. That's friggin' awesome. Belleville washers and the air cylinder, they're, they're a little faster. There's a huge debate over uh, which one grabs better. This is supposed to torque it better, but aside from that, it's a matter of if you have to release the draw bar, it's kind of a headache to go in there and, and uh, drop the collet all the way out. You know, so you're, you're pretty much dedicated to uh, quick change tooling. So, let's switch it back. So sweet. 